Hi, and welcome again. Uh, we are talking today about ASP.NET Core MVC with Entity Framework. Uh, so this will be part 14 of our uh, videos. Uh, so uh, let's move to our Visual Studio. Uh, last uh, video we stopped on uh, with the enrollment controller. Actually, exactly with the, the index uh, action controller. Uh, with that action, we receive the data, but it's not understandable data. So I can't understand, just they give me numbers or IDs only. So I need to change this uh, IDs to names and to real data. Same as here, student and course name. Should be here, student name, and here should be course name. With the grad, we are fine. We don't have anything. So how to do this one? Let's close first. <coughs> Sorry, the first step we need to go to um, models, we need to go to enrollment class. In the button here down, we should add uh, two new fields uh, public. Uh, first one, let's say student, let's call it student. Okay, get set. Uh, second one will be public. Uh, it will be course let's call it courses we get set that's it here let's close them so I get my uh, fill here so I need to fill them how to fill this one I can do same same as what we did in the previous uh, video with the view back no here should be uh, same time when I, I load it from my uh, repository, if I back to my repository here, I said here, give me all enrollment stable. So I can say one more things, I can add it with them. I say that include, if I can find include here, you should write just here using Microsoft dot, should be ASP framework core. So now I can write dot include include what include the uh, student table well, let's say s lambda let's say s dot i need that field which one uh student to fill it because how this will uh, happen because we have already relation in our database to fill this data so after that need courses c equal lambda c dot courses here that's it so I get all my data from the database I already prepared them prepare the the enrollment uh, table to receive this data after that to show them how to show them in my uh, views I go to enrollment in the index here so still here in the names I don't need to change anything just in the uh, let's say okay in the student ID what I need to change here I need to change to student so I need now just student name student dot I just will take first name I say as I said before in the future will change it to full name dot course okay I need course name that's easy and lazy let's close this one and let's run it one more time and check it what will happen now okay that's it let's go to enrollment index working great so I have my student name first name and the course name and when they will start and when they finish and will be the grad will be no grad or a or something like that so uh, let just me uh, now I think we did not do this uh, delete so let me do delete and at same time here in the uh, navigation bar I add enrollments here how to add it I go to my 
share views in the layout let's go to the list here what we find here home okay we leave home let's change this one to enrollment and change this action to index and call this one enrollments okay let's create the delete uh, action where is it our enrollment controller close one let's put the button and create and let's write now http will be get uh, public i action delete okay we'll return what view and here we will receive int mm, id we accept it yeah we accept no, 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 maybe yeah. so now we need to say enrollment uh, model equal here now to just to prepare the field or to, to get it to send it to the next uh, forum so let's say underscore enrollment dot uh, we'll say get enrollment one only let's say i d so here this one let's say just model here and go change the interfaces we go to the enrollment okay i'll change, change here too no problem change this one here and this one here close this one our interfaces and the services enrollment we need to change this one and this one that's a great so second one will be post http post public i action will be the let confirm okay oh sorry mm -hmm. return here you okay here as we mentioned in the first videos we said we should get action name this action name should be the lit same as this one okay in the confirm we will receive id this id will say it underscore enrollment dot remove now okay id that's it after that send me to uh redirect to let's say to the action which action same page in the index same controller in the index so that's it now let's save and create the view add the view well, this will be delete name okay and will be delete template and will be enrollment add that's it and let's say fantastic but we don't need all this data here oh. we don't need this one this one this one this one grad maybe you can leave it i don't know leave them all now no problem let's run it and see see what will happen now Okay, now let's go to enrollments from here. So <coughs> let's add in first a new one. <coughs> okay, student. Let's say math. Day 10. Oh, sorry, mark 10. Day 10. Found it 10. Easy, easy, date. So, and we say 
any things here okay let's try to delete first one are you sure to do it but there is no student name and no we can take this one off no need them you want to delete it great refresh everything's fantastic so now what we have done we have student and we have our enrollment and we have our uh, let's say control panel this will be control uh, panel for the we can add course or add gender or uh, modify them so the next step here uh, maybe you can uh, add details now details when you press on details should show you uh, the course or the co the enrollment data or information and same time show you how many students enroll in this one okay same as for a student if I press on this student details I should see how many uh, course he is enrolling uh, we can do them for gender and course to know how many uh, male or how many female this will be uh, in the next videos we'll talk about them maybe it will take maybe three or five videos more uh, I think for today is enough and see you in the next video uh, bye bye